Hi everyone, welcome back and if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified of all new uploads. Today, I filmed this look, which I think is pretty simple. It's a cut crease with a little bit of glitter. I think it's pretty easy and I feel like anybody can achieve it. And I actually did it, actually, actually, I actually, actually, I did this look pretty fast. It only took me 30 minutes, which for a full face of makeup, that is pretty fast. So I'm just gonna jump right into the tutorial. I don't have my wig on, I have no makeup on. Brace yourself. Everything is linked down below. Don't forget to check out the blog where I upload. Uh, upload? Where I post? I post on my blog at least three days a week, so check out the blog. It's just NikkiBeautyBliss.com, and let's jump into the tutorial. All right, so let's get started. First up, I'm gonna use the Turby Twist to actually hold my hair back. You actually use this to dry your hair when it's wet, but I like to use it sometimes just to hold my hair back. It's really helpful. You just put it around the back of your head like I'm doing now, make sure it's secure, and then you twist it, and then there's a little white clamp in the back that holds the twisty part that I'm gonna twist back, and it just stays in place, and it's really soft, really easy, and then your hair's back. Perfect, now we're ready to go. Next up, I'm gonna fast forward through the brows. I'm using Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. Everything is linked down below. I use it in ebony. I have not changed the way I've done my brows in years. Oh gosh, can you guys hear the sirens? The joy of living in Los Angeles. So I'm just gonna put the product in, brush through, done. Next up, I am taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And this is a new technique I mentioned in my last tutorial that I've been doing. This isn't anything new. People have been doing this for years. You go in, you sculpt the brow, and then you just take it all the way down the lid and set it with your favorite setting powder. And it's really good if you have oily skin. I think if you have dry skin, I wouldn't do this technique because it'll just accentuate dry patches. But if you have oily skin, highly recommend it to make your eyeshadows pop. So that's what I'm doing here. I brought it all the way down the lid. I'm just setting it with um, my Ben Eye setting powder. Moving on to the Urban Decay Electric Palette. I've had this for years. I use it all the time. I am going to be using my Real Techniques 203 brush. I believe that's what this brush is. Yeah, it's the 203 blending brush. Let me make sure. I love this brush to really blend out the crease. Yeah, it's the Real Techniques 203, I use it all the time, and I really like the silver handle. It feels really sturdy, and I've had it for months. It's really long-lasting, but it's really great if you want to get a color deep in the crease. Love that brush to blend it out. Thanks to Real Techniques for sending that to me. They did send it to me for free. Moving on, we're going to go into the Morphe 35B palette, and I'm taking a lighter pink shade and essentially blending it in. It's not a pink shade. It's actually a purple shade taking that lighter purple shade and blending it into that deeper purple shade that we had from the Urban Decay palette, just blending those two together. Now I'm gonna go back in with that Pro Longwear Concealer and really, as we say, cut the crease or define my crease. So I'm putting it all over the lid and I'm basically drawing a line with that concealer to where my crease stops. I find this difficult because I have no idea my eyelids are actually kind of wrinkly. Like, why is this happening so soon? Oh my God, I thought this wasn't gonna happen until I was in my 60s or something, but I don't know, my eyelids are starting to wrinkle. So I find this kind of difficult because I have to really like create a fake crease because there's so many folds in my eye. Ugh, does anybody else have that struggle? So that's what I'm doing and I'm just showing it to you fast forward on the other eye. I'm just using that concealer to draw out where my crease ends basically so that it looks like we are cutting the crease essentially but we're using kind of like a cheat method with the concealer to do that for us. I suggest taking your time and if it's your first time doing it, don't get mad if it doesn't go right the first time. It takes practice. Um, for me, I'm able to do them pretty quickly now because I've been doing them for years. Going back into that Urban Decay Electric Palette, I took the Pale. It's a very actually like neon pink shade, but when you put it on the skin, it's not as bright. And I'm taking that basically all over where we put that concealer, but not going above into the purple. So it looks like, you know, like I mentioned, there's a defined crease with the purple and the pink. So in this instance, you don't want them to be too blended together. You want there to be a distinct separation, but somewhat blended. So that's what I'm doing here, just packing that all over the lid, and I'm going to fast forward through the other eye, and after that we will move on 
to the glitter, my favorite portion. If I could just bathe in glitter, I'm one of those women, I would do so. So I'm going to take this glitter. I actually got it from the beauty supply store. It was five bucks. It's very thick, very chunky glitter. A lot of people don't like putting this type of glitter on their eyes. I don't care what kind of glitter. I use all types of glitter, but it's a very thick glitter. I, you can see it's coming across on camera and it has like, con it's like confetti glitter. It had like pinks and purples and blues. I really like it, but it's very thick. So um, I decided not to put it all over the lid and I just put it in the center of the lid just for a pop of sparkle. So that's why you don't see me putting it everywhere just because it was so big, so sparkly, so bright. I thought, ah, we don't want to put that all over the lid. So moving on to liner, I really love this liner. I think I got it in a boxy charm. It's the Galactic liner and I thought this was affordable and I looked it up online. It's actually 20 bucks, but I'm going to say it's really worth it. If you want a really sharp defined liquid liner, I would definitely recommend this. Um, I wouldn't recommend it for beginners because it is so sharp, the actual uh, like tip. So I don't know if that's good for beginners, but if you like a sharp tipped wand, definitely check it out. Moving on to the Lancome Hypnos Mascara. I talked about this in my last tutorial. Lancome, thank you for sending this to me. I really love this mascara. I love the wand. I love the handle. I love the packaging. I don't like the smell. It kind of smells like bug spray to me, but who's smelling their mascara anyways? But I do really like the wand. So moving on, I've been using this Kate Somerville Wrinkle Eye Warrior Cream. I've only been putting it on the right side of my face because I want to see how it looks um, and if it plumps the skin, and it really does. I actually really like it. I'm moving on to the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, and this is in the shade Pecan, and I'm using the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. This actually came in a set that they sent to me. I've been using this brush for about six to seven months, and I love this brush. It's just perfect for getting your foundation on, and it doesn't take long because the brush head's actually really big, so I really, I, Real Techniques, they're my favorite affordable makeup brush brand. Hands down, love them. Moving on to the Graftobian Color Palette. These are all cream shadows. You can see you get 18 shades. I actually just hauled this. They sent this to me recently, and I really love this, guys. So I, what I do, what I've been using it for so far is to contour, and I use it down the bridge of my nose, that darkest shade that I just showed you. What's the name of that shade? That shade is called Hazelnut. I love it. Look at how smooth it goes on. You just blend it out and it just melts into the skin. And it gives you pigmentation, but it doesn't make you look like a clown. You know what I'm saying? Like you want the contour to be there, but you don't want it to be too visible. Really like this palette so far. I'm going to keep using it and I'll give you my final thoughts probably on the blog. So make sure to check that out. NikkiBeautyBliss.com. Moving on to some concealing, concealing, concealing. I think this is the Maybelline Fit Me concealer, if I'm not mistaken. I'm trying to use it up because I've had it for like two years and I need to like, honestly, it probably should be thrown away, but <laughs> I don't want to throw it away. It's one of my favorite drugstore concealers. If you guys know of any drugstore concealers that you can recommend, let me know because I really only use high-end I want to find some good affordable ones. So I'm just setting that with my Ben Eye setting powder. And then I take the foundation brush around the edges of where I put the concealer just to make sure that everything is nice and blended. Forgot to mention to you, I did put on lashes. These are the Vegas Nay Grand Glamour Lashes. Favorite affordable lashes. I will link them down below. I'm going to go back into the Urban Decay palette and take that same purple shade that we put in the crease and put it all along the lower lash line. I was going to do some pink, but I thought, no, just to make it very cohesive, I'm just going to put the purple along the lower lash line. And next up, we are moving on to lipstick. This is the Black Up lipstick. And I've been using this in the last couple tutorials. I love it. It's a very bright pink shade, but it's kind of muted once you put on the lips. It actually looks very similar to the eyeshadow I have on. Really like it. And then this is the finished look. You pop on your wig. You're good to go. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified of all new uploads. And I will talk to you soon. And don't forget to check out the blog. Bye.